Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Liz and Lou. So today we're just at home. This is our last day in the Hudson Valley. Woohoo! So we have like, <laughs> we have some really fun news. We are moving into an apartment out of our camper um, and we're going to be going into the mountains out of the valley. So it'll be great for us. Um, Lou will get a lot more in town exposure. So yeah, that's like our, our big exciting news. And today's kind of like our last day in the valley. I figured I'd do like a little vlog today, show you how I've been exercising and training Lou lately. And it's gonna look a lot different once we move. So I just wanted to take up this last day to show you kind of like how his life is here and what we've been doing over the summer, what we've been working on and whatnot. So if you're new to my channel, we have been traveling in this camper for the past nine months and living in it. It's an off-grid camper, but now we are transitioning into an apartment for the winter. So Lou is gonna live um, a bit of a different life. Nick was riding the four-wheeler and Lou chases him on that. His neighbor dogs do the same thing and they love it. So we start doing it with Lou and he just chases the machine down the trail. But usually I play fetch with him. So we're gonna do a bit of that today. And also we're gonna be showing you how I train him to heal. We've been working on that for quite some time, but this summer I feel like we've really nailed it. And I'm excited to do it in public cause we haven't been in public. Like this whole entire pandemic, I feel like Lou has been so isolated. As we travel, there hasn't been that many interactions. People are just not out and about as often and we aren't as well. Where we live, we're on a private farm. So why bring him to town to walk him when he has fields and fields to play on here? Um, but now that we're gonna be living closer to a town, he's definitely gonna get more exposure. So I got this like two days ago for Lou. Or not even. I got it from, I think it was delivered yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it was delivered. Drop, drop. So sit, sit. You didn't even want to play with it until I grabbed it. So it has these grooves in it. It's a dental toy. It's infused with baking soda. We got it off Amazon. It was an alligator. So in 24 hours, this guy took off the arms, the nose, the tail. Um, he really just loves destroying his toys, so it's really hard to find a good chew toy. As you guys know, if you have a cattle dog or another heavy chewer dog, but it seems to be okay now that he took those pieces off. It's kind of relatively safe for him, and he doesn't eat what he chews off. He literally spits it out. But I do kind of like it because it is soft rubber and it might be good for his teeth as he's aging. He's almost five years old. But let me know what you think in the comments. I usually have hard plastic toys for him. So I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna go outside, play some fetch, and I'll show you guys how we have been teaching Lou to heal. Okay, so we are outside. We're gonna play a few little rounds of fetch and then we're gonna do some off leash and on leash healing. All right, so now that Lou is a little warmed up, he's gonna be more keen to be trained and pay attention to me. So before you do any training, you should let the dog run off leash. If you have an area that they can be off leash, play with them, do something that physically trains them before you mentally train them. All right, so now he'll be more interested in listening to me. He's a little bit more tired and it'll work out better for you. He loves his ball. He'll do anything for his ball, as you can see. So what I would do to start him in the heel position, I would have him follow the ball into place. Come here, over here. And I'd put it behind, right here, sit. So he already knows how to heel. So see, he's going right into position kind of. So I'm holding the leash with this hand and holding the ball with this hand. All right, let's go. Yeah. Heel. Sit. Very good. 
good, stay. So we're walking a little ways and as he's looking at me, I say yes. That's our word for you're doing a good job. I also say it when I give him the ball. So it's like his reward word. So if he goes a little ways and he's doing really well, I say yes. And then after a couple paces, I give him the ball. So we just repeat this for our entire walk. All right, let's go. Anytime the dog is looking at you for direction, you want to tell them that's what they're supposed to do. So I'm saying yes every time Louis looks at me, and I'm trying not to always look at him. I'm always watching to see where he's going and what he's going to do, but I feel like it's really about your energy. Louis, come here. And if I'm looking ahead and I feel strong, I feel like he's looking at me. So now we're going to do it off leash. Yep. Yep. Very good. I'm gonna give him that ball. Gets a few squeezes in. Bring it back. Drop. Do we heal? Okay, let's go. You can also stop and have your dog sit when you stop. So anytime you're on a walk and you stop, your dog is trained to stop along with you and not continuing to walk and then end up pulling on the leash. Will you bring it back? It's so buggy here. Drop. Heel. I like to pat my thigh. Um, it's just a noise and a hand signal at the same time. That was great because he resisted going into the stream and he stayed by my side. Louis, come here. Where's your ball? Hey, no. <laughs>
so I just got done reading a little bit over there on the blanket with Lou. He just lays down and hangs out. He really likes laying on a blanket. I want to teach him place, so I'm thinking of doing that in the apartment and um, bringing his little bed from the camper, just leaving it out in the living room and teaching him place. I think that would be really great for like visitors and whatnot. So I'm getting a bit hungry and I think I'm going to cook up some Impossible Burgers. We can kind of get our last camping day in. This is our last day in the camper. So I kind of wanted to hang outside more and just like enjoy um, life in the country a little bit more. So I'm gonna be cooking up some vegan burgers using this grill from Life Do. They actually sent this to me for free to do a little review on it for you guys. And I also have a 15% off discount code for you guys if you'd like to try it for yourself. So Life Do, this grill is the most portable grill on the market. Thanks, Louie. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And they sent it to us because we travel a lot, we camp in our camper, and this is mainly for that. Um, camping in a camper or a car, like tent camping, this is perfect. Um, it all fits in this bottom piece. It's really compact, so it'll fit in your car along with all your other things for camping very easily. So this is how it looks all set up. So it was pretty easy to assemble. The charcoal goes down there, then you have your grate on top that you cook on. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some vegan burgers on this thing. All right, so I've got some Impossible Burgers here. We've got some charcoal on the grill, getting it started. We've got a winding little bob over here. So it seems to be cooking well. I think it depends really on what kind of charcoal you have in there. Um, it works, doesn't fall apart. The only thing is, Louis can just, you know, grab those burgers if he wanted to, but come on, stay out of there. I think the heat just deters him away. I don't know. But you see that's not really a good level for uh, dogs. So yeah, if you put it up on a table, that could work. Um, that would probably be better. Um, but we just have that little plastic table, so obviously we just put it on the ground. If you are interested in getting that grill, use discount code 15 Liz Lou. I'll leave it down here for you guys, um, and you can get 15% off that grill. So it's a little bit after dinner, and I decided I wanted to take a run with Lou. So we're running up this trail right here, and he is nowhere to be found. He ran way over there because he saw some deer. Louie, come here. Whoa. So right now I just have the six foot leash and my tripod. Okay, so I'm gonna run a little bit with him and I will catch up with you later. I wanted to run with him, but it's just so hot and humid. We're just walking the perimeter of the property. We were supposed to be at the ocean this week and Hurricane Henri, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, ruined our plans. So after three days, it was like three or four days of rain. It's so nice to be able to bask in the sun now. Drop, 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 drop. Come on. Sit. 
So we are both pooped from the heat. Um, so we are just hanging out at this bench, looking at this pretty view. I'm sweating, he's panting. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna finish the video here, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below to connect with us. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.